Hello! For this very first tutorial on the LoSpace Wide Rhythmic Multi Echo, I will show you the very basic functionalities. To begin, we need a sound source like this simple synth. Let's add a LoSpace device that you will find in the Creative Effects section. You can play around with the default patch, but to get a better understanding, let's reset our device. The space has six parallel echo lines, but for the sake of simplicity, we will use only one. To do so, we can mute all echo lines but one by decreasing their output level to zero, using the six individual level knobs. Another way is to switch the undesired echo lines audio input to none. An echo lines audio input value determines the audio source of the echo line, none, the device's left input channel, right input channel, or a mix of the two. The duration between two echoes is controlled with the delay unit. By default, this is synced to your song's tempo. When reset, an echo line's delay length is 16 times the delay unit. So in our current configuration, the total delay length is an eighth note. We can modify the delay length step by step. Here, the echo is now 8 delay units, or a 16th note. Let's add a second echo with a different delay length. By default, the echo lines are spread evenly in the stereo space from left to right. This is why echo line 6 sounds completely to the right. Ok, let's configure echo line 6 delay length to a quarter note. Echo line 6 fades very quickly. With classic delay effects, we would correct this by increasing a feedback level. In the space, a global decay time parameter lets you precisely control this fade rate for each echo line, whatever their delay length. To conclude, let's add a third echo line, use the left and right device inputs separately, and play with the delay length to create a nice rhythmic stereo echo. Thank you. 